Welcome back to CBS 12 News at 9. The Prego Organization for Women is a Boca Raton based nonprofit that provides mothers and their babies with essential resources. And now a project started by two University of Florida students is helping raise awareness about the critical issues mothers in our community face and they're doing it in a very unique way. Here to tell us more is one of the founders, UF student Ethan Palmer and the director of Prego, Dilma Higgins. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you Thank for having you. us. Dilma, Thank you for having me. I do want to start with you. Tell us a little bit about some of the services that the organization is providing mothers here in the community. The Prague Organization for Women provides um, education, um, like parenting education, nutrition, counseling, um, financial education, and also we provide a place where moms can, moms and young families, can uh, gather you for to have a healthy lifestyle, like providing um, classes, like prayer dance. We also provide resources. We're connecting them with resources um, that they need during and after their pregnancy. Can you talk to us a little bit about the need that you're seeing right now among mothers in our community? Yes, what we're facing now is our young mothers needs um, a community, a sense of community where they can gather it together, where they can um, get access to the resources that they need during their pregnancy, especially get access to health care, get access to the resources, the main needs like diapers, wipes, essentials that they can, um, they need during their pregnancy. And also, the need of creating community. Moms can get together and support each other, connect to each other, and, and see that they are not alone. Um, one of the things that one of the things that we're facing is that they they feel lonely during the pregnancy. Sometimes they don't have the right support, like for example, the father of the baby, the parents, the um, their families. So they there is a grade of um, chance of community that they they do during um, the classes and the play, the spaces and events that I provide for them. And of course, the more awareness, the more moms you can help. So, you know, Ethan, it's a great story how this campaign of yours came to life. Tell us about that and how you then got involved with Prego. Sure, yeah. So I've always thought that Prego organizations doing great work. Uh, we've had a few events that are in Boca Raton as well as Broward and even now internationally. And I always thought it was a great organization. But one day I came home, looked on my kitchen counter and saw an early draft of this hat, which said one mom at a time. And the second I saw the hat, because really what it means is helping one mom at a time. But the second I saw the hat, I said, this is a really genius, bold way with a little bit of a double entendre to raise awareness. So just as an experiment, I started wearing this out. My friends bought a couple because they thought it was funny too. And what we noticed really quickly is that people loved the hat. They were asking, what does that mean? You know, they were laughing. And I think that it's just a really bold way to start those conversations where now that we've actually started it as a student project here at UF, we've sold close to 100 of these in the past month. And it's really incredible to see how the community is coming together because it's something that you can wear out. It's a little bit cheeky, but it does raise those incredibly important conversations, like you were saying, that we should have about mothers in our community and about the fact that we really don't support them as much as we could. And I really appreciate that Prego Organization for Women, outside of providing moms with the resources, also provides them with those financial literacy tips. And for a lot of moms that are either new to the country or young moms without a large support system, creates that community. So we're trying to help one mom at a time through one hat at a time. And we're really excited about what the future holds. Yeah, that's wonderful. And before we let you go, we've got to talk really quickly about the competition that's going on right now. Can you give us a, a quick synopsis of that? Sure, yeah. So the Boca Raton Rotary Club and their main auctioneer, Neil Saffer, will be running a auction on some of these hats uh, in about a month. And if you go on our website, pregoorganization.org, you'll see that there's a submission form. What we're doing is reaching out to local artists about designing custom one mom at a time hats making them as bold as they want with really cool designs. And then we will reach out to the Rotary Club and have five of those finalist hats auctioned off. So if you're a local artist, you'd like to contribute to the cause, all of the proceeds 100% from that auction will be going straight to the Prego Organization for Women. 
And we're really excited to see what people come up with and continue to raise awareness. Yeah, that's incredible. The website there is on your screen right now, pregoorganization.org. Ethan and Delma, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us.